Hey Scorpio, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology and Tarot doing your March of 2022 overview reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've posted. I've had technology issues with Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde, Saturn in my house of technology. It was tough. As you know, my previous videos were having sound issues, so... I hope it's fixed now. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys so much. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. The first card that I flipped for you guys for March of 2022 was Mending. Now, please do keep in mind, these are general. They're not going to resonate with all of you. Check your rising and moon sign, or the timing may be different. This card is an indication that you're going to be mending something with someone. This could be a friend, a family member, or a love interest. I do feel like even though Venus is now direct, Mercury is now direct, um, it depends on, for a lot of you, when the separation occurred. <clears throat> if the separation occurred during Mercury retrograde or during Venus retrograde, oops, sorry, which was, it just went direct a couple of weeks ago. So if it was before that, got to readjust this again, sorry. Um, depending upon the degree of which the separation occurred is when this person usually comes back and contacts you because during Mercury and Venus retrograde, it's chaos. People misunderstand, people get upset, uh, uh, communication gets messed up, whatever it may be, but it was also a faded time. So if you met somebody and it didn't work out, it's likely now in March that you're going to be mending it with this person. Now, I'm going to clarify this to find out more uh, specifically for some of you, but because these are general readings, all of you are not going through exactly the same thing. Not all of you have separated. <laughs> not all of you are dealing with that. So this is for those that this applies. What else do we have for Scorpios for March of 2022? Only the most accurate messages, please. All right, we got all that glitters is gold. Now, let me see. For some of you, you thought really highly of something that didn't work out. Maybe you had higher expectations. It could be astrological influences that affected the situation to where I've seen it happen many times. Um, or it's where you thought somebody was something or you thought an opportunity was something more than it actually was, okay? I feel like both apply for you, and it's going to be different for all of you, okay? But I do feel that this applies for different situations, and some of you, multiple situations, okay? And <laughs> for some of you, some of this, for some of you, a situation that you thought was better than it was, that you thought was going to turn out better and it didn't, and you found out something different. I feel like it was being influenced, okay? Which means that it's not permanent. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I'm getting. Others of you, there was something that you thought highly of. I'm going to be clarifying that shortly for more specific for those that it does resonate. What else for Scorpio, March 2022? All right, so you're being asked to stay in the here and now. This is the past, this is the present, and the future. A lot of the times we stay stuck in the past, whether it was yesterday, something went wrong, and all we think about is how it went wrong, what went wrong, why did it go wrong, and all we're doing is feeding that energy and recreating it actually because everything is energy when you stay in the present and you focus on the future you are then creating what you want so if you stay in the now and you imagine and think about how you want things to be in the future and only focus on the things that you want you are leaving the past behind and even recreating it in the future in other words, something that went wrong here, you can fix in the future, but you can't fix it if you keep focusing on what's wrong. You have to focus on 
the future. And it always helps to visualize, think about only things that you want, not the things that you do not want. So you're being told to stay in the present and focus on the future, not stay in the present and focus on the past. I'll clarify that as well. What else for Scorpio for March of 2022? We, we got going the distance. All right. Some of you really have somebody going out of their way to try to prove something to you in March or going out of their way to make more efforts than they have in the past. And some of you there's something you got to push a little bit harder on. You got to push a little bit further. Maybe you feel like it's failing, maybe you feel like it's not going to work out, maybe something, but you're being told to go the distance on this one, to push forward. It's going to bring you rewards. But a lot of you have somebody that's going to be doing this for you. Clearly going the extra distance for you. But some of you, okay, I know, but what can I say? These are general and there's a lot of you. Some of you need to go the distance yourself for something that you want. Clearly that you want making the effort, putting in the extra effort, going towards it, whether it's work, a situation, whatever, I'm getting. But there is somebody going the distance for you. What else for Scorpio? March of 2022. Something you've been asking why about. Why did this happen? <laughs> why? What happened? There is something that's been on your mind and you've been questioning it. What happened? What went wrong? Why did this happen? Why? But I feel two things. Don't focus on the why in the past. Focus on how you want it to be. Second thing is I feel like it's something that you thought higher of and it didn't turn out, but it's not over and it's not done. I'm getting this clearly. And stop asking why about it and focus on what you do want. Don't stay in that stuck mode of just fixated thoughts of, of everything that went wrong. Start seeing things the way that you want it to be. It's just that we are consciousness. You are consciousness. Whatever you think about comes about. Whatever you focus on, it's, it's you, your consciousness, your awareness. So you want to put your awareness in what you want it to be, in the things that you want, how you want it to go, not how it went wrong, if that's making any sense to you. Because I feel like this is stagnant energy of overthinking, spending too much time thinking, thinking, thinking about what, about something. The more you think about it, the more it grows the more energy you're putting into it, okay? You, you, it, of course, we have to ask questions about stuff and learn from them. But focusing on it of, of what went wrong is not, gonna, is not gonna help the situation. Thinking about how you want it to be, imagining it differently even, would be more help than that. Because we create our reality from our subconscious and our conscious mind. But if we think too much about something, we just keep causing, perpetuating it longer. Then we got time to go. And this is to let go and trust yourself and to push yourself to the next level. I'm just seeing this door up here. It's like she's, she's leaving, going up the stairs, but there's, a, there's another door here. That's going to open up a whole new world of possibilities. It's like letting go of something, leaving it behind, moving forward through the next level to the next something. There is something great behind this door for some of you if this resonates, okay? It's 
taking a leap of faith. It's going... It's like... Being stuck in the same place for a long time and going and finally just going up through that door and seeing a whole new a whole new deal there's an opportunity that's going to present itself or there is something that is going to or there is something that is asking you to take that risk and to go or to let go of something that is not To let go of something and go through the new door. For some of you, this could be letting go of something toxic and going through that new door and opening yourself up and getting the right one. For some of you, it could be a business project that you're trying to do. Just like go through that door. Just go. I don't know. Being told to go. If this means anything to you, take that door. Okay, it's time to let go of something and move forward, even if it's just temporarily. There's something good awaiting you in doing that. One more for Scorpio, March of 2022. This is the best card ever. Treasure Island. Money is coming to you. Security. Could be a raise. Could be a lump sum. Could be an inheritance. Could be just your business starts blowing up. Whatever it's going to be, you're going to hit the jackpot in March of 2022. Whether you're working more, however it is going to be, you're going to... And you know what? I feel like for a lot of you, it's like... If this means anything to you, time to leave something and go through that new door, whether it's give up procrastinating, waiting, stop hanging on to the relationship that's not working. It's like when you go through this door, boom, you're like, but regardless, when this card shows up in a reading, it tells me that you're going to be financially very well in March of 20. 22. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start clarifying now. We're going to go ahead and start clarifying the mending card for Scorpios. All right. Can you tell me what this mending for Scorpio is about? Okay. Someone that was indecisive or you were indecisive about or it was up and down or back and forth. <laughs> there was even a lot of confusion. What happened? Maybe connected to the why card. But there wasn't clarity about why it ended, what happened, or about the person. But they're coming forward because they want to start something new. And apparently they got a lot to offer you. Okay. This is the biggest love. This is this is this is a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, a lot of love, a lot of care. This is being happy with each other, the ultimate happiness card. And it looks like they're taking a leap of faith to offer you this because they've been indecisive. Maybe up and down, maybe you know, showing you they care, showing you they don't. They're in, they're out, whatever it is. It's just this unstable unclear what happened okay why did they why did they um why were they unclear or why was scorpio unclear we got a king of swords this is a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or it's somebody that is difficult to tie down, that likes to be social, 
gets around that is intellectual all in their head a lot of the time or they just tend to be pretty much straight shooter um but it's air which is social communicative mind and they can be uh you know indecisive when it comes to committing and making commitments now it looks like they've been confused and stressed out about what happened and why they did it or what happened okay now this is going to go both ways because some of you feel this way too you're like what like you thought one thing and then it left you feeling like why but i see them coming in quite strongly to express themselves here so For a lot of you, I feel like this person was just confused about what they wanted. They didn't know. They were just like, they just didn't. And it's caused them a great deal of stress, too, because they've been thinking about you. Let me try to see something here. Because they're, they're coming back, okay? They're coming back, and they're coming back quick. Um, what are their intentions? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. This person might be successful or have stability in some way, shape, or form, but they want to offer you, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's always stable, it's grounded, but it's security. So, for some of you, it could be this person, there's some financial gain to come through from them, but they do want something stable, at least... Yeah, they left and they didn't know what to do. <laughs> they left, they didn't know what to do. They didn't know which path. Some of you, they might have been choosing, you know, just being honest, but they were indecisive. How do they see Scorpio? They saw you as somebody pretty straightforward. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. They saw This is how they see you. The Ace of Swords. You communicated how you felt. You were direct about it or you were sharp about it. Um, this can be a little harsh. I'm just going to be honest. It's swords. It's sharp. Um, but it's very direct. They did see you as somebody very direct, very straightforward, perhaps even sharp for some of you. What else? But they do want a breakthrough with you. Yeah, that somebody cut somebody out really sharply, harshly, or, or something here. Somebody was harsh with words. Somebody felt defeated. Somebody felt weakened or something like that through this interaction. They saw you, I'm sorry, as somebody that's really sharp and very direct. Okay? I mean, this is how they saw you. But for some reason, they're coming back because why? They like that you're sharp and direct. How else do they see Scorpio? Because they want to come back. They admired you. They admired you. They looked at you and they thought, wow, this person is talented, charismatic, beautiful, whatever. And they want to put in more effort and work with you a little bit because I feel like when the Three of Pentacles shows up, which is collaboration and working together, and it's also admiration of someone okay I feel like they didn't really want to work with you on something okay or work with you but they admired you from afar or they admired you and even though you were sharp or they ended up being sharp and cutting you down too because it goes both ways or cutting you off or you did them or you were just sharp with your words because this is how they see you they admire you you're somebody that's direct cutthroat <laughs> <laughs> honest what else and somebody that is very intelligent has a lot of esoteric knowledge that has that's wise that this is definitely Scorpio card the high priest <laughs> it's it's hidden knowledge you guys rule that area it's insights it's you know 
they felt like you knew stuff, you saw stuff. But there was something about the connection that felt burdensome. I can never say this word, burdensome. That felt heavy. Or, and it's an air sign you're dealing with, so that's not a surprise. They felt like it was heavy. That's, that's what I got from that. <laughs> heavy. But they want to try again and try to make it better, work it out, refine themselves. They've been working on themselves. It's funny. It's funny. It really is because they were indecisive. They were, you know, you guys were confused, but you're going to be making up with this person or at least you're going to have an opportunity to because they admired you apparently for your directness, your no nonsense. your knowledge, your insights, but there is something heavy for them, pressure, but they want to try to work it out because they see the possibilities of this. They want to put in the effort and try to see the possibilities. They want to, they want to see the possibilities. They felt like you didn't get to see the possibilities. Wow. All right, you guys, let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's check out what this why is, even though it very much so is likely related to that situation. But we'll see. It could be another. It, for, for a lot of you, if that situation doesn't resonate with you, okay, then, then this one might. Then this could be something else. It could be totally a different situation. Tell me about the why. So this is a regarding something that you wanted to gain control of, Scorpio, or something that you were trying to control. But this is also the success card. I'm feeling like some of you maybe were extremes in some way. These are extremes here, but gaining control of that. Something why, something that you felt like was out of your control on the why here that you're gaining control of, apparently. Let's see. Tell me more. Some of you, it could have been regarding, okay, this is because there's so many of you. What? Why somebody didn't travel to you or why somebody didn't. Yeah, okay. So you really wanted to be successful in something. Okay, it's not telling me specifically what you wanted control of something you wanted to win. It was something you really wanted. And you ended up asking why it didn't go or why it didn't work. Some of you, it could be with a cancer and some of you, it could be regarding traveling. But you've been and thought about it too much. Okay, too much analyzing it thinking about it but you've probably uncovered some things you likely have <laughs> scorpio uncovers yeah something that went something that blew up that you really had high hopes for okay you've been asking why about and it suddenly just went south or it just blew up or it was drama okay but you're going to get a good result from that, clearly. What is the outcome of this? Some of you, it's regarding money and it's going to come through, okay? Others of you, it's a start of something that's stable or grounded or money. There's money involved too. Others of you, it could be with an earth sign I'm getting or somebody that has earth in their chart because this is earth and it's showing it's going to be multiple, multiple different ways. Something that you wanted to succeed in or you wanted it to work out, you felt like you were out of control or you couldn't control it. It was something you really wanted 
it blew up. You've been thinking about it. <laughs> and now there's this, for a lot of you, it's money. For others of you, it's some kind of news that's going to make you feel really good and more stabilized regarding this why. I'm sorry, you guys. These are general. And like I said, you're not all involved in the same with the same situation. So I'm going to take a look at time to go. Because I feel like for some of you, you have to let something go to let something new come through. And it's like a door is waiting there for you. Yeah, this is something with Cernanos. Maybe there was some outside interference, okay? Because with Cernanos, it is interfering in your love life. Some of you, it could be a Saturn transit, a Pluto transit. <laughs> Those are how, how it works. Okay. But this is a m very strong, sensual, sexual, magnetism, magnetic connection that runs very deep, but maybe rather intense or super passionate. Or, like I said, it's going to be different, but it's something very difficult to let go of or it's somebody that you're holding on to emotionally. When it says it's time to let go of that, you have to think about who this person is because it's telling you, like, let go of that and go through here. Go, Take the new door. Take the new door. It's going to, you know, as you find out what you don't want, or even if you want this, and if it was toxic in some way, you're going to get closer to what you do want. You're drawing in what you do want, and they're saying, go. You're going to find a new door, and it's going to open you up. Now, if it was blockages, it's telling me that a new door is going to open up. You know if it was toxic and unhealthy, okay? And you know if it was outside interference, kind of, at least. Tell me more. Two of Cups. This is a soulmate, a perfect person, compatible for you. So I'm definitely going to say this. This was outside interference, blockages. Could be astrological, could be transits. It could be interference in some way, a family member, a friend. It could be whatever because this is a soulmate. So, or somebody that's really good for you. Now, it could be that they were being affected astrologically and acting out differently or acting out negatively. Or it could be... However, it's going to resonate with you. But this is a very powerful connection that's difficult to let go of. And usually if it's something that comes in with this card, I'm saying it's outside interference. So in this case, there's going to be a new door that opens up. And I feel like a lot of you, this person... I feel like a lot of you, this person is going to come back and clear things up with you and you're going to get a new start. Some of you may be seeing somebody else while this occurs. This could happen anywhere in March, okay? I'm just getting this. And you're being told to go through the door. Some of you guys just like go for a little bit and it's going to come through. Yeah, because we got the Ace of Cups. This is a big love. This is somebody that you feel a lot about, a lot of emotions about. A new start coming through with your soulmate when you had some outside interference interfering, okay? And it's time for you to get what you need, what you deserve. It's time for you to get this. I'm seeing that door as like a new, like a new door of the same thing. Because this is definitely telling me. Some of you might have to take a little risk and knock on that door. I'm just saying because it's something that was blocking you from being together. Fate, divine timing, interference, outside interference, whatever. Transits affecting them or you. Whatever it may be, it, it was like that. 
okay? But you're going to get a fresh start on that. And it's going to be good. And you know what? It's connected. For some of you, it is connected to this mending. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, your guys is, is all about love. All about love. Okay, so... Tell me about the... Going the distance. <laughs> Scorpio, March 2022. What is it going the distance on? Putting in the work and putting in the effort usually is what this card is about or taking a risk outside of yourself to reap the rewards. So for a lot of you, I feel like it's something you've been working on or if it's not regarding something you've been working on, it's something that you've been put, putting effort into and you didn't reap the rewards and it's telling you to go the distance. It's telling you to put in the effort. Put in the effort is the solution to reap the rewards. And there seems like there's quite a bit to be reaped there. Um, of, of effort, time spent. What else, please? We got another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a younger one, perhaps. Or making that call communicating putting in the effort putting in the communication in order to reap the rewards of something that you've been working on clearly and it could be with the younger air sign or it just could be or with the fire sign leo sagittarius or aries Some of you have a younger air sign or a fire sign that is going to be also putting in the effort with you. Fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. It could be fire, air combination, or it could be a younger air sign that's taking the initiative. But somebody, okay, like I said, these are general. So the messages are going to be applying to you in different ways. Some of you, I feel clearly... Keep pushing forward on a project you're working on or something. You're going to reap the rewards in March. You're reaping the rewards clearly. Others of you, you have a fire sign or an air sign that's going to be putting in the effort because they really want to see how things go with you. So it could be you have an air sign and a fire sign so far that could be connected in this, okay? Clearly. Tell me more. Yeah, because we got the Four of Cups, so you want this person. Or they, they don't want anybody else but you. They've been thinking about it, feeling sorry. Or you have to because it goes both ways. But I feel like you really want this person. It's either a fire sign or an air sign. Like you're not happy with any of the others. And others of you, this person is feeling that way about you. But it's I feel like for a lot of you, it's mutual. Wow. Okay, so you got a lot going on. Let's go ahead and see what kind of love messages regarding these connections you have that can help you. For Scorpios, for March of 2022, what? All right. Okay, there's too many. That's like six cards and it's just not, it's going to be too many. Scorpio for March of 2022. Please give me only the most accurate messages that will help them regarding this, these love situations or in their love life in general or to attract love in general. Get to know each other. This is a card about not being able to communicate and get to know each other and take the time to get to know each other first, typically. Okay, so it's saying that when this person comes back or if you want to or if you want them back or whatnot, take the time to get to know them and get to know whether or not this is the person you really want. Some of you may have dived in really quick 
whenever the get to know each other card comes up, it means that you're not, you haven't spent enough time to really get to know each other. And it's telling you to get to know them more on a deeper level. Okay. And if you have, and you've been with this person for a while, maybe you haven't been spending much time talking. What else do we have? Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in the moment to reflect on when you experienced love. So when you do this, you tap into your heart chakra and you feel the love. You feel love. And when you feel it, you are bringing it and drawing it to you. You guys have very strong emotions that you can use to manifest rather quickly, use directly, use directed in the right area on what you want rather than what you don't want. But when you feel elevated of, of love and feel positive and you reflect on the positive things, you're bringing more of that into your life. So it's saying to turn your heart light on and tap into when you felt like you were in love. That always attracts more love. What else for Scorpio? Act as if your partner is here. This is the old um, law of attraction. When you act like they're there, feel it, smell it, breathe it, see it, feel it, eventually you're creating your own reality on your own blank space because all you are is consciousness. Remember, your consciousness, what you're aware of, is what your reality is. So don't be afraid to act as if they're there. Feel it, breathe it, feel it, breathe it. As many times as you have to until they're actually there. One more for Scorpio for March of 2022. What else do we have for Scorpios? So be supportive. It's always good to be encouraging, be supportive, whether they're friend, family members, love interest. When you're supportive of them, they appreciate it. They listen to, you know, it's just comfort. It's comfort. Sorry, comfort. Feeling good, feeling supported. So be supportive. And the heart of the matter, there is more going on than you are aware of. Take that into consideration. I hate this card because it always says that. And I'm like, what is it? But just think about that. Maybe what you think it is, it isn't at all. All right, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Please leave your comments. I love to hear from you guys. Um, I'm going to be posting more regularly now. If this video has sound, you'll let me know. I'm going to find out as soon as I stop the video. All right, you guys, if you'd like a personal reading, visit my site at www.illumastrology.com or you can email me at illumastrology at gmail.com, but I prefer you go to my website first so you can see what type of readings I offer. I do astrology and tarot both. I'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best as always. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.